next morning, Mr. McGarry. We'll take care of that in a hurry, won't we, Mike? Yes, sir. Don't kill the messenger, Leo. Oh, why the hell not, Bonnie? Five minutes? Please. Hey, Emma. Morning. Wilson. Leo. Joe. Jeffrey. Whatever. Josh. Morning, Leo. Hey, Donna. Is he in yet? Yeah. Can you get him? Josh! Thanks. I heard it's broken. You heard wrong. I heard... It's a mild sprain. He'll be back later today. And what was the cause of the accident? What are you, from State Farm? Go, do a job, would you? I'm just... He was swerving to avoid a tree. And what happened? He was unsuccessful. Yeah, that's fine. Just don't do anything until you talk to justice. Okay, but... Hey. How many Cubans exactly have crammed themselves into these fishing boats? It's important to understand, Leo, that by and large, they're not fishing boats. You hear fishing boats, you conjure the image of... Well, the boat, first of all. What the Cubans are on would charitably be described as rafts, okay? They're making the hop from Havana to Miami in fruit baskets, basically. Let's just be clear on that. We are. Donna's desk, if it could float, would look good to them right now. I get it. How many are there? We don't know. What time exactly did they leave? We don't know. Do we know when they get here? No. True or false, if I were to stand on high ground in Key West with a good pair of binoculars, I'd be as informed as I am right now. That's true. The intelligence budget's money well spent. Just tell them to send in the Coast Guard. Leo. Oh, come on, I understand, but they're never going to make it to our territorial waters. Thank you. What if the DEA suspected they had drugs? Does the DEA suspect they were drugs? You make a phone call. Josh. If the DEA or Navy Intel thought the Cubans were bringing in drugs, wouldn't we have to go out there and search those rafts with, you know, guns and blankets? They look like hell. You know that, don't you? Yes, I do. Listen, Leo, did he say anything? Did he say anything? The president's pissed as hell at you, Josh, and so am I. I know. We gotta work with these people. And where the hell do you get off strutting your... I know. Al Caldwell's a good man. Al Caldwell wasn't there. I'm saying you take everyone on the Christian right, dump them into one big pile, and label them stupid. We need these people. We do not need these Josh. people. We need Al Caldwell. We want Al Caldwell. We do not need John Van Dyke. We do not need Mary Marsh. And I think there shouldn't be instant replay in football, but that's not my call now, is it? He was stupid. Damn straight. I was right, though. Like, I don't know that. Oh, Mr. McGarry, have they done an x-ray? Yep. Is anything broken? A $4,000 Linex titanium touring bite that I swore I'd never lend anyone. I don't understand. How did He's he... a klutz, Mrs. Landingham. Your president's a geek. Mr. McGarry, you know how I feel about that kind of talk in the Oval Office. I apologize. Just in this room, Mr. McGarry, is all I'm asking? Yes. Oh, Bonnie, hmm. call OEOB and set up a briefing for the vice president. Let's coordinate with Katie Simon's office on the appointments. Should I get everybody in? Yeah, Margaret. Please call the editor of the New York Times crossword and tell him that Gaddafi is spoke with an H and two Ds and isn't a seven-letter word for anything. Is this for real or is this just funny? Apparently it's neither. Is there anything I can say other than the president rode his bicycle into a tree? He hopes never to do it again. Seriously, they're laughing pretty hard. He rode his bicycle into a tree, CJ. What do you want me... The president, while riding a bicycle on his vacation in Jackson Hole, came to a sudden arboreal stop. What do you want from me?